Man finds cave on farm, actually goes inside. Michael Scott, a professional photographer, is someone who's always looking for a new project. Michael located a cave and couldn't believe what he found inside. There were rumors of a cave being here and he just had to know more. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Michael took many photos along the way and spoke to locals about the cave. There was no easy way to locate it, but since it was supposedly used by rabbits, Michael decided to follow them. Did they lead him to his destination? Michael finally located the entrance to the cave and he was sure it would lead to something quite amazing. The only problem was that the entrance to the cave was tiny, as if only used by animals. Would he go inside? Michael proceeded to crawl into the cave, which leads to a series of underground caverns. There were caves and rooms underground. Michael was impressed by the caves, but they didn't make sense. What were they used for? Michael's found that the entrance is open to large chambers and the construction was very intricate. The chambers were large, but if you're six feet tall, you would have to bend over. The caves were very dry, even though it was raining and damp outside when Michael entered. What were the caves carved out of? The caves were all carved out of sandstone. Michael started to understand the rumors that the caves were used by medieval Catholic groups to meet in secret the most wealthy and powerful group ever tied to the Crusades. But what did Michael believe? The groups would meet in secret to initiate new members and conduct government business. The strength of the caves after so many years was unbelievable according to Michael. He was thrilled he'd found the cave, let alone be able to go inside. Michael got great photographs of the cave, and after seeing them, he believes that the caves were used by high-standing members of government under King Philip after he ended the Order of the Templar.